This big machine keeps Ian alive. It does the work of a small kidney, cleaning his blood. Most patients dialyse in hospital, but Ian says doing haemodialysis at home gives him freedom. You can work part-time and you've got more energy and you're, you're with your family a bit more. Now he's off to hospital to help other patients to test smaller space-saving equipment that aims to be simple to operate. I want to help other people. It's nice to see what's happening in the dialysis world. This is the first time the equipment has been used in a UK hospital and the aim is to get more patients dialysing at home. The opportunity to have newer, simpler machines that are smaller and easier to train on uh, will hopefully offer this treatment to, to more patients and widen its availability. 80 people are now employed developing the technology at Quanta. Its headquarters is at Ulster in Warwickshire. The Midlands was the heart of the original industrial revolution. We are now working to change the lives of dialysis patients and to bring a new revolution to the world of dialysis. The basis of the machine a unique cartridge system. A lot of what would happen internally within a machine that traditionally would take up 20, 30 kilograms of weight, it would take up the space of about a cubic foot. We've reduced that to a flat pack, single use, plastic disposable. Hopefully it will give a lot more people opportunity to dialyze at home. Well, Ian, like many dialysis patients, finds this a real chore. But looking on here at Nottingham City Hospital, there's no shortage of people who'd like to dialyse at home. These women have been testing the new machine. I do a 60-mile round trip to get here, so it would be um, very advantageous for me to do it at home. It would give me more flexibility and um, I've got children, so I'm able to um, look after the children and still do dialysis. I think it's brilliant. I do. I, I, I keep asking them when I can take it home. <laughs> Quanta aims to put it on the market next year. Rob Sissons, BBC News.